In this video, we will complete challenge 2 of the fundamentals that is files. Click on it. Here is the PDF reference. Files challenge. Click on it. This is the PDF. It has 12 steps and it will take around 45 minutes. In step 1, we have to refine the filter that is, we have to give the filter our user ID and zxp.public. So let's go to VS Code. Here click on the search icon. Give our user ID then zxp then dot public. Then press the enter key. So these are the public datasets. Step 2 is just telling us to look at these datasets. Step 3 is asking us to create some datasets. To create dataset, go to this dataset called zxppublic.jcl and open it. So here is public.jcl, expand it. These are the members inside the dataset. You have to search a dataset called PDS build. So go down and here you can see PDS build. This is PDS build. Right click on it and give submit job. So right click on PDS build, submit job. Job submitted. In step 4 it is asking us to close and reopen Z Explore. So let's go to the top, close Z Explore and then reopen it. And you will see some new datasets have arrived. These all are new datasets which start with my user ID. In step 5 it is asking us that if anything goes wrong, then I can just rerun the PDS build member. So here is PDS build inside the public JCL. This is PDS build. If something goes wrong, then just right click and submit job. This is step 5. In step 6, it is asking me to rename a dataset. So go to VS Code. Here go to the input and dataset, username.input. Open M1 and here it is showing me rename this member to Aqua. To rename, right click and give rename member. Let's call this Aqua and then press the enter key. You can see it is now renamed to Aqua. Then go to M2. It is asking to delete this member. So right click and delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Give delete again. And you can see the member is now deleted. So step 7 is also complete. In step 8, this is, it is asking us to open a dataset called username.surprise. So here is the dataset username.surprise. Here is the member violet. The member name is violet. Copy this member name to z15260.input. So to copy, just right click, copy member. And then we have to paste into this dataset username.input. So right click and paste member. Press the enter key. And you will see the paste is successful. A new member called violet is now copied into this dataset. Let's go to step 10. In step 10, it is asking us to go to sequential dataset SEQDS. So here is SEQDS. What we have to do is we have to just add a new line in this dataset. So in the end, just add something. Hello, my name is Abhishek. Then give Control S to save it. So step 10 is complete. In step 11, it is asking us to create a new member inside the input dataset. So this is the input dataset. Create a new member. Right click name of the member should be my new member my n e w m e m so right click create new member my new member press enter you can see the member is now created then in the final step 12 i just have to go to public.jcl files1 and submit it so here is public.jcl here is files1, 
Just right click and submit job. Job submitted. So let's go back to our website. Here is the website. Let's go to I'm ready to take the quiz. First question is what are the types of data sets we learned? We learned partitioned and sequential. Which of the following can go inside a partition data set and can contain records? Member, which data set do you have full read and write access to? The answer is this one, user ID dot input. So these are the correct answers. Click on submit. All three answers are correct. Click on continue. Challenge complete. Check my JCL completion. You have successfully completed the fundamental file challenge. So our challenge is complete. Let's go back. Let's close this. And you will see here challenge is unlocked. Show them now. That's it. Challenge number three is now available. Let's go to challenge number three. If you like my videos, then you can support me by buying my mainframe course. After buying this course, you will get 19 hours of mainframe training. This course will teach you COBOL, JCL, VSAM, TSO, ISPF, Unix System Services and CICS. You can watch the free preview before buying my course. Make sure you buy the course using the referral link in the description.